Welcome back to Scale Model Kit Review. This is your host, Steve. In this video, we'll be looking at Eagle Moss Aston Martin DB5 Pack 7. And with Pack 7, we'll be looking at Stage 26. Stage 26 will add some more components to the dash, actually some instruments and some knobs and such to the dash. So with that, we'll look at the parts and then we'll assemble this. Let's get started. Welcome back. Here are the parts for stage 26. I'll get these all out of the bag. We'll get a closer look at them and then we'll assemble this issue. I'll be right back. Here's a close up of the parts we received with stage 26. We received the control front plate, or what we call the instrument panel. We received the left air vent, the front and back. We received the three dials. We received a light switch and a lighter. And then the screws that were included with this, we received four Y screws and three Q screws. So with parts pack 26, we assemble the right air vent base and cover. We also install the cigarette lighter. After that, we uh, install the control front plate, dials, and switch light. First part is to assemble the right air vent. Now we have to jump back to stage 24 to get this switch mechanism and that simply goes in on the back. Okay, just like that. Now we go ahead and clip on the end. And this goes on just a certain way. You have there your backing plate. You can see your holes are closer to one side and there's a large gap on the other and they correspond with how that looks there. So it just simply snaps down just like that. And that's in. You see the little switch moves freely. For the this is your air vent. In issue 26 uh, we assemble the right air vent and we're going to put that on the dashboard mount. We will be using a U-type screw. We simply take and flip this over. That goes down just like that. And we'll put our U-type screw in. And there you have it. And you can see right here, the cigarette lighter mounts into that little hole right there, and it's uh, keyed. So you can see here's the cigarette lighter itself, and that just slides in there. And you can see how that that is. Here's the dashboard. Be careful with these LED lights because they will pop out, so make sure that's inserted in all the way. Prevent those LEDs from falling out. I went ahead and light blocked them with some tulip, some black tulip. And that will light block and keep them glued in place so the way your LEDs do not pop out on you. So it gets a little tricky now. Before we install our dashboard, and that would just insert into here, we uh, still need to install our instrument panel cluster because the screws on the back side here are what hold it in. So we'll install the instrument panel cluster first and then we'll put our screws in like that. So we're going to hold off on the dashboard until the instrument cluster goes in. Next we install the light switch and three of the knobs. So the light switch actually gets mounted on the back side here. Okay. And that's actually going to go in 
right here. You can see there's some clear acetate for the gauges and this light switch just goes in just like that. And you turn it over, you can see how it is. So that's going to actuate a light mechanism, I believe. And then we'll install our knobs. Got one in. Two more knobs to go. One, there we go, and there we go, we got all our knobs in. I'll be right back. And that completes issue 26, our parts pack 26, and uh, we basically have put together the steering wheel and column, we put some knobs on the instrument cluster, we've installed the fresh air vent, and we've also installed a cigarette lighter on the dash. We have to wait, even though the instruction, instructions wanted us to install the fresh air vent and dashboard assembly, uh, we don't want to do it right now because we still need to finish assembling the instrument cluster. That goes on first, and then we'll put on the dashboard mount assembly. So that'll happen in step 27, parts pack 27. So stay tuned for that video, which will be coming up uh, shortly. With that, I hope you enjoyed this build. Please like, share, and hit the bell if you want updates on my channel. And if you haven't done so already, head over to Eagle Moss. I put a link in the description below on how you can subscribe to this USA Sellers. They will take care of you. They'll get you started right away. And you can build along right along with me if you'd like. So with that, happy modeling everybody. Take care.